you know, I had a friend, and he was he was stupid. He was he was started drinking. He had an alcoholic problem. But I guess he started running around with his, some of his drinking buddies, and I guess uh, well he was Hispanic. And there was an Asian group in his neighborhood. And I guess his brother was kind of getting into the teen years and getting into rough things. Well, uh, he, uh, he and his friends marched up to this little five foot four Asian guy and his girlfriend. And they're all kind of drunk, right? And they're like, you know, you better knock it off. You know? And this little guy pulled out a freaking twenty-five, And freaking everybody ran. And he capped off five shots. That probably as much as it holds. I mean, a little twenty-five. You know, that's, like a, that's almost like a BB gun, right? Or an airsoft bullet, you know? But it had about half the velocity... Of a friggin, uh, of a twenty-two, you know, not even a long rifle, just nothing, right? One guy took one round in the leg. It went about four inches in his leg, and you know, and he was walking fine in two weeks. My friend who was having his drinking problem at the time took three rounds running away in the back he ran for about and I guess he shouldn't have ran but he tried to run home and he ran for about two three blocks long blocks you know maybe a half a mile or something like that and he collapsed he died on the operating table three times. You know? You know what? If you got... This is just a little airsoft gun. But if you got this in your face, that can ruin your life. You know what I'm saying? And this is just easy. You know, I don't know if you can see this. You know, it's just... just a, I'm just got a little cap gun and stuff, right? A little airsoft gun I bought for a couple bucks. Something like this. I don't ruin your fucking world. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, it, it, the little squirrelies are freaking having their little problem. No way. You know, no way. Let them kill each other. I do not care. I mean, it is not worth it. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing you could do. You know, maybe it wasn't like that. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But, I mean, it's just... You know, you can't knock their heads. You can't exert authority. And you could... Rarely. You know, probably not. But the way... Kids are with the media and everything nowadays. And all that. And the way race is in America. And even if it was big black man going in there you know they're still not really respect an older person's authority you know part of the counterculture is youth you know what I mean it's still youth and they're not going to respect you so honestly I don't see what you could do maybe that's just part of an excuse to turn away but if anybody has a reasonable response besides calling 911 or how to stop that kind of incident you know without being Billy Badass I'd like to know you know what I mean because you know it, it's like the after school fight you know except it's gone completely hardcore possibly you know what I mean anyway that's the point. And, Seaster, if you're out there, what's your answer to this? Just, what would you expect someone to do? If you were start yelling 
and you saw me get mad and walk in there and freaking shit started going off and I freaking started grabbing punks and saying you better knock it the fuck off you know, how, how would you honestly feel would you still would you like me to do that would you respect me or would you kind of resent me you know what I'm saying so that's something it's dirty it's dark it it's things no one says you know but you know face it you know what I mean if you're trying to get to work you know uh, you anybody who's got a fucking problem with what I'm saying here please I invite you anybody please tell me the correct course of action I'd like to know of course it's I would imagine the correct course of action would be stay uninvolved report to the authorities you know offer assistance if you can in uh, you know aid and comfort but don't become involved in a conflict isn't that the reasonable response you know what are you gonna do hero you know I like I said I, I, I have no problem with sister I, I'm not trying to be racist maybe I am racist but if I am I admit it I just don't know uh, maybe I'm being an ageist but I'm not trying to advocate anything that's bad I'm just trying to be honest and open sorry for my swearing <clears throat> but really regardless of who you are or maybe because of it it matters race and age and sex you know let's be honest what would you do you know if you're that man standing at that bus stop and a lady is asking you why don't you your man why don't you get up and do something what what the hell do you expect me to do lady <laughs> the world's an ugly place the world's a hell what does it matter what happens in it hmm? I don't know I just want to freaking get old before I die <laughs> that's all I want I don't even know if I'm going to get that it's a fucked up world. Now how do we make it less? That's what I'm asking. Alright. Cure us out. Be kind. Victory.